Hi everybody, it's Simply Stunning and I'm back at you with another video. Now, in this video, I kind of want to introduce the basics. Not like the fancy stuff when you look up Plan With Me, you see everybody use. But the very basics, like the things to add color to your bullet journal, bullet journals to use. Where do you find the things? Down to the nitty gritty stuff, not any of the stickers or the wash, no. Basically, the things you need to basically start a colorful, nice looking um, journal. And you can honestly buy these for cheap. But to be honest, this is, these are just my preferences. So if you've got um, things that like work the same way but are different brands, then maybe you can comment down below so I will know too. So let's go. The first thing I want to start off with is supplies. So here are the supplies I'll be introducing. Whoa, I use a wide variety but i don't use a lot in one spread but like i use a wide variety but these are basically your basics and you're like that's cool no i didn't mul i just took multiple of each group to show you the variety personally if you've noticed in the supplies you don't see any brush pens you don't need brush pens to start a successful bullet journal curler super tips give you the same effect brush pens do plus you're able to color with them so for color super tips, that's basically a main source of your color, and you can buy them for cheap on Amazon. And I bought them at a 50 pack for not a lot of money. So if you are looking for an option, Corolla Super Tips, I really recommend. I literally swear by them. I'm pretty sure we've all used them in kindergarten, so you know. Second thing is wait, but I do see a brush pen. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. And that is basically a black base. Now, I chose brush pens because those are the black base I have. But again, this goes back to one of these. If you've got this, you'd have it. But this came with a pack. So I thought I just might as well show you the options that you can get basically a, just a plain black brush pen. Because sometimes you don't need to do your headers in fancy colors. You just want a really pretty black header, and that's fine. I'm wondering... Tumble dual brush pens are so expensive. Why can I get a really good alternative? Well, I already gave you one. Well, I already gave you one, but I decided, you know what? I'm going to give you another one. Another one is King Art. They're watercolor brush pens. Personally, I've used them. They're pretty okay. If you're, like, good at brush pens, then I'm pretty sure you'll be able to handle these, but they definitely are not the best. But um, if you're looking for something cheap that literally does the same job and, like, that great executable journal and comes in a wide range of colors and this works because it has 36 different colors so even the time it comes in more you'll definitely be packed and set with these too so next thing is what you're going to write with personally i brought of course because i'm me i brought out two gel pens my favorite types of pens ever so i just had this tamit one and this oh, came in 36 pack but <laughs> you know, you don't have to buy the 36ers, but like if you have a good gel pen at home, you can definitely use that. But then I also have this, and this came in a 12 pack. But ballpoint pens are also really good, but I personally prefer what I'm writing to use these. I just think it's easier for me. I think it just glides smooth around the page and it is less skipping. A pencil is always a good choice because personally for me, just to ensure that I don't make any mistakes or make at least, or at least minimize my mistakes to the point where I can cover them up with like some craft paper or something like that, is to always sketch everything out in a pencil. So a pencil is a must have. And personally, I prefer one with eraser, but right now I have, don't have one, but I used to have on a pencil case, but I don't know if it's crazy that I don't know where my eraser is. But that's beside the point. Next one is fine liner. Now, <laughs> get ready or not, but this can also be used as a fine liner, but that's not what I'm going to go in. And also, fun fact, I have seen people who used, if you guys get like a really juicy ballpoint pen, like the Energel, you can also use it as a fine liner. But again, I feel like it would run out really quick and be more prone to skipping, so... But I know some people do that. But I personally like to use the Pigger Microns. You can get them in six sizes, and they're really cheap. Literally, I bought two 
six sizes. It's 12 for like what? $12? No, not maybe like $6. No? Really cheap. I got them off Amazon. They're high, 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 high quality. Those are my must have. Now, I want you to know. You can get all of these off of Amazon. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually got all of these off of Amazon because I'm too lazy to put my money. Oh, I got this all before the coronavirus hit. So when I'm talking about going to stores with that mask and stuff, it's because at the time, you know, we didn't have to. I was too lazy to, you know, get my butt outside and go to Target and buy these. So I decided to shop them on Amazon and make Jeff Bezos 10 times richer. Right? <laughs> so. I also bought on Amazon. Honestly, I recommend like a Scribbles Pro or a Loistrum. But of course, those are just too expensive for me. So I brought a Paloma. It doesn't have that many pages, but it works. I mean. But I'm going to use it until it runs out of pages. And then probably I might invest in something better. I did like this because it came in a wide range of colors, but I chose the gray because I feel like it's a very universal bullet journal color, and I think it's really cute too. So why would not I choose the gray? And I just got a basic dotted grid notebook, if you guys can see it, it's like dots. So that's pretty good, but um, those for me are at least my essentials and things like if I had to choose. I would like, you know, you know, you know. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, found this helpful if you were looking to invest in a bullet journal, want to do it for cheap, but you don't really know where to start. This video should give you a big thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see my favorite journal surprise. Basically, I'm going to my favorite, which sometimes means it's a more expensive, but it really doesn't matter. You don't have to, but if you just want to see my personal fate, Maybe you want to go check them out. Who knows? Then maybe um, you should comment down below, like, subscribe, and hit notifications bell so you might be able to see that video and more videos that will come out. Love you guys. Simply studying out.